instant, you know, it was the, you know, I saw this, looking around the kind of this coffee shop, and I, <laughs> I, never, I didn't know what he looked like, but I knew at a certain point when I got to the guy whose hair <laughs> looked like, like a, you know, there was an explosion at a hardware store. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And he was chewing on his coffee spoon. <laughs> so like I walk into a joint, I know that's the guy I'm talking to. You know? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Even if it's not Tim Burton, but it happened to be. <laughs> you have to keep in mind that I, when I got the job, I was sure that I wasn't going to get the job because Tom Cruise almost got the job. You're gonna have to talk to somebody else for that story, but there is some really funny shit to be <laughs> garnered from that. <laughs> ask, ask around, ask around, ask around, ask around. I come back to my hotel and like the messages and you reading the thing and you see this thing that says uh, Marlon Brando called at 9.37, you know, here's his number and you're like, none of this shit's happening. <laughs> I'm nine months into a deep coma and this is some weird shit that you really would like to happen, but it's not gonna happen. There are three things that are the most important in, uh, in uh, 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 succeeding in this business or whatever. Script, script, and script. I mean, I actually thought it was very unoriginal. I don't know, I felt like I'd heard that somewhere. No? Yeah. <laughs> and they didn't fire me, which is weird. That was supposed to come later. <laughs> what does that mean? Grow some things, my brother. Grow, grow some things? Yes, anything. Oh, I grow shit now. <laughs> oh, I grow shit. I might not be growing the same thing that you're growing. <laughs> but I grow shit. <laughs> Chia pets. <laughs> it's a big world, a lot of choices. You, know. yeah. you and Leo well behaved on that shoot? Leo might have been. <laughs> you ever run into Leo? I do, yeah. He's grown. <laughs> yeah, he's grown a lot. Have you guys seen him? <laughs> I respect Leo a lot, you know what I mean? He worked really hard, he did, he worked really hard on that, on that film and uh, spent a lot of time researching and whatnot and stuff like that. And then he came to set and he was ready to work, and he was ready to work hard and he was really, you know, he, all his ducks were in a row. And I tortured him. <laughs> I really did, I actually did. Because he was always talking about these video games, you know, and. Uh, I told you it was kind of a dark period. I wasn't in the middle of it. <laughs> and no, I will not give you a drag of my cigarette while you hide from your mother again, Leo. No. <laughs> and so I started pulling the gags on Al. And uh, that was the moment I realized he was absolutely out of his mind. <laughs> I mean, like, no, but really. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean. He's certifiably insane. I wouldn't spend a night anywhere near his house. <laughs> Standing there, smoking a cigarette. And finally, I just couldn't take it anymore. I said, hey, you know, hey, here's the funny thing, Al. The one thing that I never, ever expected or imagined was that, that you're actually I mean, you're actually certifiably insane. <laughs> I felt good for saying it. You know. and, and did he respond? Yeah. 
He gave probably one of the most perfect comedic, you know, sort of bumps that I've ever seen. He he just sort of looked at me and he goes, "No, oh, we're outside." I said, "The wind." He's looking at me, you know. I said the thing about you know certifiable, and he just went, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah, oh yeah. You didn't know that? I said, no, I, you, know, I, you know, I didn't actually, I didn't really know that. You know, he said, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then he just sat there again, like the most beautiful fucking execution of timing. He just went, hey, you know something? You're pretty fucking strange yourself, you know.